For at TV, the world is thinking. Why do liberals hate patriotism? Is there a unique brand of patriotism in this country compared to, say, how an Australian or a, 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 a Frenchman would uh, consider themselves patriotic? Is there something unique about the way Americans view themselves when they consider the idea of being patriotic? Well, yeah, actually, I'm not sure it's relevant to this point, but uh, American patriotism is, is about a series of ideals rather than a shared history. So that a Frenchman, there's no such, you could never have a committee on un-French activities. You could never have a, you know, a committee on un-Australian activities because if you are a Frenchman, you are a Frenchman. But in the United States, if you want to be a good American, you have to adhere to certain values because our, we have so little history. And what the right wing has tried to do is explain that liberals, or pretend that liberals do not adhere to American values. And in doing so, they pervert what are American values. They pretend that this was founded as a Christian nation. It wasn't. In fact, one of the reasons it's not a, it wasn't founded as a Christian nation is because the evangelical church did not want politics messing up their church. So they wanted a very clear separation of church and state. And that's, there's just no question that that's what the founding fathers were interested in. Um, but uh, because our patriotism is, is based on an I idea uh, and it's largely symbolic, like, you know, the military is a symbol of patriotism. Uh, you're always having to prove your patriotism. And liberals, you know, they haven't played the game. They are, I think, far, their actions, I think, are far more patriotic than conservatives. I mean, look at how conservatives have treated the military of this country to use their own criterion. I mean, they've, they've just done awful things to the military. They sent them to fight in Iraq without uh, proper protection. They gave them an impossible plan, which is build a country out of warring factions. You're not taught how to do that in, in basic training. They, uh, they have all these stop-loss orders that are forcing these people to, sign, to stay in battle zones much longer than they ever agreed to. They're stretching the resources way thin. They're cutting back on veterans' benefits and on health benefits. And it's all being done by people who, you know, have never worn a military uniform except maybe on Halloween. The only person who had anything to do with planning this war, who wore a military uniform, was Colin Powell, and he opposed it. Uh, and liberals have, you know, liberals opposed all of these things and wanted to use the military to actually attack our enemies, the people who attacked us, and not go off on this crazy nation-building democracy, uh, allegedly democracy uh, promotional activities. And yet, still, liberals are on the defensive about their, the way they treat the military. And George Bush is parading around, you know, as if he's their protector. It's ridiculous. There's not, it's just the exact opposite of reality. But on issue after issue after issue, these old stereotypes uh, continue.